Hey Josh, it's Tuesday, and I'm back in my usual spot, well, I guess you could call it usual spot, um, just like you were last week, so, yay. Um, so, first off, to answer your question from last week, I've kind of been trying to avoid a lot of the political stuff, because around election time, I was like, I was really into, I just got to text, don't mind that. I was, like, getting into a lot of the political stuff, and it was, it was too much. I'm not, I'm not a poli political person. Um, I, although I do admit that the inability to compromise is very problematic. I agree with, uh, I agree with you on that, that it is a very problematic, that, um, kind of is a necessary thing. Um... But, so, that's kind of my opinion on that. I know that it's not super huge and such, but I can't really think of... I, I don't really know how else to uh, say that. And, um, yeah. I also got a, a new shirt. Uh, I just got it yesterday. Um, it's Ruby. I have more Ruby merch. I stopped at Books A Million yesterday. Um to, or just because I got out a little early, and, uh, yeah, just sort of looked around there, and I saw this, and I was just like, I can't not get this, and then, uh, <laughs> that also brings me to another thing that I found, which I'll grab here in just a sec, I'm not trying to kill time, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> the official critical role campaign setting book of Teldore. I saw this and, I, and it, again, I was like, I can't not get this. But yeah, so I've been looking through it and uh, it's it's pretty cool. It also came with a poster that was the uh, actual map of Teldore. I have it hanging up over here and can show it to you. Again, not trying to kill time. Don't know what you're talking about. Right there. You can kind of see it. But yeah, so that that was that was really cool that I found it, and uh, like I said, I've been looking through it just a little bit. Um, I didn't have any homework yesterday, so I had time to do a bit of reading, and it's it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm not super far into the original campaign for Critical Role, which takes place at this uh, in this Teldore um, realm, I think is what it's considered. Yeah, yeah, the map says Realm of, Realm of Teldore, but yeah, it's, it's just really cool that that exists, and, uh, that, so, I wasn't, <laughs> I guess I'm talking about Dungeons and Dragons now, because, um, I actually had an idea for a, uh, a story that I'm planning on writing up, kind of, or it was originally kind of its own little thing, but it's kind of, sorry, er, the more I've been thinking about it, it's gonna kind of be similar to your campaign, um, that you're running, uh, where we're, like, monster hunters, basically. Um, but I was originally gonna be having it be, like, a sort of guild sort of thing, um, and then as I was thinking, or kind of similar to, um, uh, what, fairy tale, if you've ever watched it or seen anything about it, the anime fairy tale, uh, basically it's about this... It takes place in this world, um, where there's a bunch of magic, and, um, there's different, uh, what are called guilds, um, that kind of, uh, help train you in magic, and you can also, uh, pick up, um, whatchamacallum, uh, contracts, uh, to fight a bunch of monsters, collect such and such magic item. So, kind of similar to your campaign, um, after I thought about it for a little bit. And so that's kind of what I'm going with. And I'm now debating whether I want to have that take place in the Sword Coast or in this Teldore, because it'd be really cool to, uh, <laughs> to go through this place, because it's, it's Critical Role, and that's an amazing show. That, People should watch if they haven't. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm still kind of going between those. Currently, I have it taking place in the Sword Coast because I started it a couple of. We I started thinking about it a couple of weeks ago, and I'm too lazy to make up my own realm. <laughs> so, um, like I said, it's kind of. Or I was originally going to be having it be just sort of like magic based, but that really limits a lot of people. I mean, you can still have your rogues and fighters, but you'd have to be either Arcane Trickster or, um, what is it, uh, Eldritch Knight, which, like I said, is kind of limiting. Um, so I'm thinking about having it be, uh, I'm trying to think of ways to incorporate other other things into it. Like, um, I actually shared it with a couple of my other friends, and they, one of them was just like, well, maybe you could have some blacksmiths in there, and that could be your fighter or something. And they didn't say any specific class for it, but that kind of fits a bit into the uh, fighter archetype, I feel. Uh, or, I guess, cleric as well, because they have the forge cleric now. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of like trying to... I'm, I'm still figuring things out for it. Uh, trying to incorporate as much as possible in it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that that'll do it for this video. So, uh, my question for you, Josh, is what do you, or how do you think I could incorporate a few other, um, a few other classes into it that aren't just magic based? Um, so yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. So, Josh, I will see you on Friday. Later, bro.